Mini racing in the IRC series consists of four classes within the race, from the entry level Mini 7 class to the 135 horsepower of the Supers. There's something for everyone. Hannah caught up with Super Mini driver Warren Heron to explain it. Well, um, it's based on the old Mini, and um, we have four different classes running. So we've got the Mini 7 class, which is 1,000cc, and my son's running in that. And then we run uh, 1380 Miglia class, which is a uh, restricted 1380 class. And then we have the uh, supers like mine, and um, which is the same 1380 but with more modifications. And uh, then there's an open class which uh, anybody can come along with any Mini, as long as it's an old Mini, it's a race car, uh, and they can uh, run that. Warren, you've been doing Minis for a long time, what got you started in it? Well, I started racing carts actually, and then um, when we were looking at uh, progressing through the carts, I went right through the super carts, and then I thought, oh, well, we'll get into the minis because they were cheaper. So uh, when we bought the championship winning car and started racing in the mid 80s, well, I had to work through it a bit. I think we were about 11th in the first championship. It was pretty hectic days those days. It was, it was good. I, I remember getting a fourth at Pukakaui for qualifying, and everybody coming around and congratulating you for being a new man getting forth, you know, so. A quick look at the entry list and you'll notice another Heron racing in the minis. Yes, that's right, Warren's son Elliot has joined in on the fun to continue the Heron family legacy in mini racing. My granddad used to race back back with dad and actually my uncle raced as well, my, my dad's brother. And yeah, so it's, it's in the blood really and um, it, it's, at some point most of, most of the people from my family, extended family at least, have, have raced, so back in the good old days of the, the 850 Mini 7s and all that sort of thing, so no, it's really good, it just means that there's lots of, lots of experience and lots of knowledge lying around and we'll just be talking about things and all of a sudden, oh yeah, we used to run that years ago, and, and oh okay, so we're going to try that sort of thing, you know, and it's, it seems to be helping our pace a lot. So while Elliot believes he can rely on his youthful exuberance to catch up to his old man, Warren tends to play it down. Oh, well, it's all right. He's in the Mini 7, so there's, there's quite a bit of difference here at the moment. So he's, he did a year in, uh, in the open class. We just grabbed a whole lot of stuff we had and, and put that together and had him in racing. But this time we put a Mini 7 together. We're not having too much luck. He's doing okay. He's, probably, he's third in the championship. Yeah, our cars are pretty different, but I mean, in, in the grand scheme of things, a, a Mini's a Mini. I mean, the way, the way we built my car, it was actually my, my dad's recent, my most recent car, the one he's running now. We built the, the cars very similar, and I mean, we basically the motor is the only difference, you know, and, and like the suspension setups are all similar. And I mean, some of them have fiberglass bits more more than others, and that. But I mean, the the class rules uh, allow a lot of inter, interchanging between between the classes, so there's not a whole lot of uh, there is a quite a lot of uh, of overlap, you know, so it works out pretty well. With rules and regulations to adhere to, Mini Racing is as close as it gets, which seems to hold the attention of many, both young and old. Oh, I've had a lot of fun with it for years. I, I stopped for maybe one season. <laughs> and uh, when you get back into it, it's just so good travelling around the country and being with a group of people and having a good time. Oh, everyone's great, really. It's just everyone's, everyone's looking to, to help you out, really. They, they want to see everyone going quick, so... I mean, there's, there's, there's a few guys who are on the pace now and, and, they're, and they're all, in, in each class, and they're all, um, they're all looking to help you out, you know, so, I mean, anyone, especially new people trying to get into it, they just, they, everyone wants to help you out and you, can, and you can get lots of pace that way, just like I was saying before, learning off other people's, off, off other people's knowledge, you know. What's it like being one of the young ones? Oh, there's a bit of, bit of stuff goes round, but that's, uh, that's all part of it, it's all, all, uh, all in good, um, good spirits, so, yeah, it's a bit of, bit of laugh. While the young bucks might get sent down the road for the odd skyhook, the atmosphere is very welcoming. Just ask first time racer Simon Manns. Uh, yeah, everyone just helps everyone really. And um, if you've got any problems with your car or anything, everyone just jumps and helps out where they can. It's really good. Um, it's good sport to get into. And um, that's a really good way to get started in the minis. Yeah, and it's good being in a team like Wintech. Yeah. This weekend I'm just hoping to take experience out of it and um, improve my lap times throughout the weekend. And do you want to stay with the minis or are you going to move up? 
Um, I really like the minis at this stage, so I'll stay where I am at the moment. Yeah. So if it's experience he's after, it's experience he'll get. Manawatu offered both wet and dry conditions over the two-day race meet, meaning Simon would have to push past the comfort barrier if he were to beat old hands like Evan Thompson. But it's best to keep in Evan's good books. After all, he is a president. Yeah, really good. It's a very, it's a very friendly class. People perfectly happy to help each other. Um, although there's no really such thing as cheap motorsport, as motorsport goes, it's a relatively cheap class to compete in. Um, it's really friendly, people help each other out and we're really keen to get others into it from that point of view. The other beauty of it is that the cars are small, they don't take a lot of towing and they don't take a lot of storing, so it works well from that point of view. We've got a really wide range of, of drivers here today, you know, there's some sort of 18 year old looking guys out there and some yeah, the a age, lot older. Yeah, the, the age range is 18 to 67, so yeah, it's, it's something for everybody. I think I'll be sitting in my lazy boy when I'm 67. The IRC race series is only new and perhaps a gamble for some involved, but four rounds in and it's looking pretty good. First year into IRC, for us we were very keen to be part of it. We saw that motor racing at tier two level needed a new focus and a new direction. Um, it's driven by the racing classes themselves and, and the organising clubs and I think it's it's given us a focus and a direction and a, and a motor racing series that we actually have some input into. We're a key part of IRC um, and represented on that committee fairly strongly. So yeah, I think it's a good thing and long may it continue. The last three meetings have been really good. And I guess I should ask, how's your racing going for the weekend? Oh, slow. <laughs> yeah, no, slow. I'm just here for the fun of it.